My name is Zambra. Thank you guys so much for clicking on my video and deciding to watch with me. I am very excited. It's been quite a while that we have started, or been a while since we played a game on this channel. I do have my gaming channel that's been pretty inactive, but I am very excited to play Danganronpa Rompa Trigger Happy Havoc. Um, you guys have been requesting this game for quite a while. Um, I know there's an anime based off this series as well. Um, I think the game was first. I think. I'm not sure. But I'm really excited. Uh, the last actual gameplay that we did on this channel has been Undertale. So I'm kind of excited to start something new. Um, these will be the full, basically, gameplay little edits but nothing crazy since you guys voted for that on youtube so i'm really excited to play this with you guys it's gonna be interesting um i haven't really decided what's going to happen with my gaming channel i'm probably gonna put other games over there but keep series games here i think is probably my best idea so i am very excited i hope you guys are as well um i really don't know how this game functions uh, someone said it was like a murder mystery game, which I like murder mysteries, so I hope they weren't lying. <laughs> but I'm very excited to play. So, without further ado, let's get started! <gasps> Japanese! No, we want English. I would like to understand. Logic difficulty? Well, I may not be the smartest person in the book, but let's do... Kind? I like kindness. Kindness is good. Everyone should be kind to one another. Yes. Kindness and murder. He's kind of cute. He's a little bio. Um, blast up. Are they in school? Oh, he was just sent to space. Oh, and he's coming back. Oh, oh, no, he's dead. Oh, he's dead. Yes. Death. Definitely dead. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. He was, like, incinerated. There's nothing left of him. What is this bear? Okay. What am I playing? What is this? Why did... What? Why did we start with death? <laughs> what is this music? Someone just died! Why are we having happy music? What is this? The massive high school towers over all other buildings in the bustling urban area. It's like the school stands at the center of the entire world. Okay. Hope's Peak Academy. Is this a visual novel? What am I playing? It brings in top students from every field imaginable. A government-funded school of privilege. Interesting. But how can you teach everyone if everyone has different interests? They say if you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. With hundreds of years of tradition, it sends the cream of the crop into the workforce every year. It was built to raise hope in the nation's future, which makes Hope's Peak a pretty fitting name. There are two things you need to attend the school. One, you have to already be attending high school. Two, you have to do the very best at what you do. No ordinary student can enroll here. The only way is if you're scouted by the school itself. Hmm, interesting. And standing there at the gate of the ultimate school filled with the ultimate students was me. Oh, hello. So you're a main boy. Before we go any farther, 
I guess I, I hear it all. Myself. My name's Makoto Naegi. Makoto Naegi. Oh, he's cute. As you can see, I'm nothing but a hopeless average high school student. Then why are you here? Average on the outside and this why are you here then? Get lost. Get off our school property. You're disgracing it with your averageness. I really don't have much going for me when it comes to grades, special abilities, even for Then why am I wasting my time learning about you? I mean, yeah, I have hobbies and stuff I like to do, but it's not like I'm a psychic or a mutant or whatever. Is she talking about the X-Men? Is this what the school is for X-Men? Like if you ask me what my favorite song was or my favorite movie or TV show. They'd all just be whatever's most popular at the particular moment. Even among the average, I'm completely average. So I can't even say I'm your everyday hero type. That's just who I am. Anyways, I figured it'd always be good to introduce yourself right off the bat. But you know, if I have any kind of strong point, so to speak, I'd say I'm a little more gung-ho than other people. You'd have to be to have enough courage to come to the school. To even walk up to the gate. I mean, look, the gates are even open for him. He's probably not even allowed in. Who is this character? Are you breaking into the school? What are you doing? I mean, look at me. I'm completely ordinary. I got that, Nagy. Nagy, I got it. Here I am. Standing in front of anything but ordinary Hope's Pope. Hope's Peak Academy. Still can't believe it. I'm standing here. I wonder if someone like me can survive in a place like this. No, you're not cool, Nagy. It's got this overwhelming presence, like it's trying to swallow me whole. But it's no wonder I would feel that way. What you have to understand is, well, let me just tell you about the preparation I did last night to get ready for today. What do you do? What are these? Hope Peak only invites those students who are truly elite in their field. It's such a popular topic that there are threads online dedicated to talking about the school and Ted D's. So to prepare, I looked up some of the threads. And all I saw was talk about ultimate students who were way beyond average high schoolers. Ah! Do we have a K-pop girl? For example, one incoming student is the ultimate pop sensation. I guess she's a high school girl who's also the lead singer for a pop group famous all over the country. Oh! She's cute. I like her. So we date her. Oh. There's also Ultimate Baseball Star. He was the cleanup hitter from the National High School Champs. Pro teams already have their eyes on him. Okay. Oh, then there's the Ultimate Fashionista. Ooh, can that be me? Fun. She's pretty. She keeps on evolving. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> She's been on the cover of tons of fashion magazines. She's what every high school girl wants to be. <laughs> Ultimate biker gang leader. Is that a thing? Is that really a thing that you can teach somebody to be better at? scary thing is, he's the de facto leader of every biker gang in Japan. What? He's a de facto leader? How can he be a leader of every biker gang? That doesn't work! They all love the guy. On top of that, there's the ultimate martial artist, the ultimate fanfic creator! <gasps> I will fight them on that topic! I want to be the ultimate fanfiction creator! Though I have not written a fanfiction probably in 10 years, that is my role. <laughs> Me! <laughs> Fuck them on it. Ultimate swimming pro, ultimate programmer. That's cool. Clairvoyant. Ooh. Reading that made me realize how totally powerless I was. It was the country's finest top to bottom. Felt like a tame little house cat who'd wandered into a pride of lions. But still, there was something I couldn't stop thinking about. You see, there were a few students who I couldn't find info on, no matter how much I looked. With all those ultimate students, I'm the only one without any kind of worthwhile talent. But then, what about those other new students who didn't seem to pop up anywhere? 
Could they be just average students like me without any talent or anything? Why would they accept... Why would they do that, though? Why would they just accept people who are not special? But the school specializes in special people. Is that kind of encouraging? I mean, I don't have much in way of personality, but beyond that, there's an even bigger issue. How did such an unbelievably average student like me get picked to come to this ultimate high school? I mean, I guess there is a reason. You just had to take one glance at the acceptance letter and sent me to see why. Oh, the lottery. Oh! We recently held a lottery to select one ordinary student to attend our school. As a result, you have been selected and we invite you to join us as the ultimate lucky student. It's gotta kind of just feel just pure luck. Wow. wow. Honestly, I probably would have been better off just declining their offer. But after hearing how graduating was a guarantee for success later in life, I couldn't just say no. Couldn't college be like that? That'd be nice. If you went to college, graduate, it was just a guarantee you were going to be successful. It wasn't a, what, one in four chance of getting a good career? But then, actually standing there in front of the school, I started to feel lost, like I didn't belong there. I could feel myself losing my nerve. Oh, Nagi, no! You got the baby! But still, I can't just stand here in front of the gate forever. Frozen in place, murmuring to myself. I looked down at the acceptance letter clutched in my hand. It said there'd be a meeting for all incoming students in the main hall at 8 a.m. The meeting still isn't for a little while, but... I should probably just head in. Yeah. Yeah! Let's do this! I gathered up all my determination and tried to act like I've done a million times before. And I took my first step towards the main hall. So they actually let him in. <laughs> Good! This is where we're supposed to meet, right? I guess I'm the first one here. There's really elegant clock in the corner. It says 7, 10 a.m. Sneezing doesn't start. Wow, that's so early. 50 minutes early. It makes sense. Nobody else will be here yet. I was so wound up. I got here way too early. I had plenty of time before the meeting. Just standing around waiting isn't ideal. I should take a look around the school. Maybe they'll help calm me down. I am a student here now, so there shouldn't be any problem with me having a look around. Right? They'll help me kill some time, if nothing else. Trying to play it cool, I took my first step into Hope's Peak Academy. It was also my first step towards starting a new life at a new school. At least, that's what I was hoping for. Uh, um, too much drugs? What were you, what were you taking when you were reading those message boards? The instant I took the first step forward, my view became warped, twisted. It was like some kind of delusion melting away, mixing together into some weird abstract art. <gasps> Le Gasp! It's the ultimate painter student! <laughs> spinning, mixing, melting away, and then spinning again! And the next moment, everything went black. That was how it all began, and how life as I knew it came to an end. At that point, I should have realized... The reason I was brought here to Hope Speed Academy wasn't because I had ultimate good luck. It was so I could experience ultimate despair. Don't we all experience that when we go to high school? Isn't that just regular high school? <laughs> no, that's regular despair. This one has ultimate despair. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Mm -hmm. oh. What? Where am I? I woke up with my head resting on top of a hard wooden desk. My body feels heavy. Pretty normal for me to zonk off in the middle of some boring class or whatever, but... What was I doing asleep here just now? This isn't a classroom I've ever been in before. Oh, that's creepy. Oh, that's so freaky. What? 
the heck is going on? Welcome to Hope Peace Academy. Firstly, we like to explain the basic controls. Oh, there's like a little camera. Creepy. You can use the mouse to adjust your aim. If you aim at an object, you can interact with the left mouse button. And presto, you'll investigate the object. Use WASD buttons to adjust your viewpoint. You can press and hold the right mouse button and move around. Why don't you try looking around the classroom? Oh, this is weird. What does this do? Oh, okay. Oh, how odd. Okay. I'm not sure if I which I like better. I think this might be faster. What the heck? Oh, the windows are like bolted. That's so creepy. Why? No, there's a window should be. It looks like some kind of metal plate has been bolted over it. If I were to knock on it. Yep, definitely metal. Thick too. Very solid. Wait, that's not what matters here. More importantly, why are the metal plates over the windows? Oh, camera, yeah. Is that a surveillance? Yeah, what is a surveillance camera doing? It's a dangerous world we live in. I guess they have to keep weirdos from just wandering in. Ah! Uh... There's a TV school. It's funded by the national government, so I guess it's not weird to have TVs in here. Something feels off. I wonder what it is. I should look at this note first before I go to the door. That's the desk I fell asleep on. I can still see a line of drool. I must have left there. Ew! Ow! I got. <laughs> I'll have to clean that up later. Hey, what's that on the desk? Hey there, new kid. The next semester is about to start. Third today, the school will be your entire world. I mean, I guess high school could feel like that. Like your entire world, I guess. I guess that's how, you know, it happens. An orientation guide. Some kind of creepy looking pamphlet and there's something written on it. About to start, start to the school of your entire world. What the hell? Is this someone's idea of a joke? Okay, we've already looked at all those. Oh, clock. Can I... What time is it? Jeez, I can't believe it's already- Oh, it's eight! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah! Has it really almost been an hour? Okay, let's see. So what might have happened is I got myself so wound up that I passed out in the main hall and then someone carried me here. If that's true, it must mean this is the classroom inside Hope Peak. Yeah, I can assume that. Yeah. And if that's true, that just raises more questions. This is all really strange. I mean, those metal plates covering the windows, it's like a prison or something. None of this makes sense. I should probably head back to the main hall. It's already past the meeting time. There might be other students there now. Okay. Can I actually leave the classroom? Leave the area. Uh, not quite yet. Let me take... Just I think that's door, yeah. Emblem? No. Is there anything else I could look at? No, I think we saw everything. Okay. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Oh. Interesting. Jeez, this hallway is weird too. I like the purple look of it though. Purple's my fave. Getting stranger by the second. I honestly have no idea what's going on. Well, for now I'll just head to the main hall. Use to move through the hall. Hold down shift. Am I gonna have to run? Is something going to chase me? I don't know if I like that. You can also use the tab key to bring up a map. Press the tap key again to close the map. Okay. Is that the one I came out of? The door won't budge. Oh, this is so creepy. 
OMG, Despair Hotel. Nothing's gonna scare me, right? Doors locked tight. Okay. What does that mean? Despair Hotel. I guess it's a place for people to stay overnight, but anyways, I need to get to the main hall. Oh. Okay! That's fine. The screen... Nothing up here, right? Okay. This green hallway is freaky. Let's tab. What is the bear doing on the map? Why is the bear on the map? It's this place. I wonder where this dead red door leads. I'm starting to feel sick standing there. Oh, creepy. Why is that door blocked off? That's weird. AV room. It's locked. Go figure. What is this? Keep out. The school store. I guess it's not open. Welcoming. Off limits, it looks like. Bathroom. Good thing I don't have to go. Huh. Girls, bathroom. Not that it matters. Gym. Where am I supposed to go? Gym. Okay. Well, guess we gotta go back over here. Only place that the doors are actually open. <sighs> Guess we don't have much of a choice. Uh, by the time I got back to the main hall, everyone else was already there. <gasps> Whoa, oh, hey. another new kid? Hi, guy. Hey. Oh, then you guys are all. Does it auto go? No. Yeah, we're all new here. Today's supposed to be our first day of class. I don't know who's talking. Can you open your mouth flaps? Why is the fashionista looking at us like that? It's really creepy. There's a lot of creepy students. So, counting him, that makes 15. Seems like a good cutoff point, but I wonder if this is everyone. The that, That's the biker kid over there. He's really creepy, his face. We're the ultimate students that have been picked, handpicked by the school. I looked around at everyone who gathered there, talking in their faces one at a time. Maybe I was just imagining it, but I could swear I could feel kind of aura coming from each of them. Huh. What's going on? Uh, my name's Makoto Negi. I'm sorry, I'm late. A uh, bunch of stuff happened, and then all of a sudden I was just asleep. Huh? Oh, you too? Hmm. Hmm. Things just keep getting curiouser and curiouser. Mm -hmm. So strange. I declare beyond a shadow of a doubt that this is the strangest situation indeed. Um, what are you talking about? I honestly have no idea what's going on right now. Just a moment, there's something else we must address. <laughs> I like him. <laughs> Listen to me. Listen to me! Makoto, your tardiness is unacceptable! Surely you were- is this Ida? Surely you were aware that the meeting was to start at 8 a.m. sharp! To be late on your first day is unspeakable! I must report you, you must accept your due punishment! What? What's your problem? It's not like he wanted to be late. He didn't have any control over it. She's cute! I like her freckles! That's right. Everyone just calm down. Listen, why don't we all go around and introduce uh. ourselves? <laughs> the hell? Now's no time for frickin' introductions. <laughs> Maybe, but it may be good to find at least at least find out who we all are before digging into bigger problems here. I mean, how are we even supposed to talk to each other if we don't know each other's names? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. Oh, that was like spot on, right? Oh, I'm so good. I'm so talented. <laughs> um, okay. 
Okay, so let's get introductions out of the way. Then we can move on to whatever else. Sounds good? I'm still totally lost, but I think it's best to just focus on getting to know each other for now. So I guess this is as good a chance as I'm gonna get. I already looked her looked everyone up in the Hope's Peak Academy thread online, but I still don't really know what kind of people they actually are. Time to find out! I'll start by talking to those five over there. Aim at a student and press the less. Okay. Each conversation is important to the overall story, so keep track of how they go. Well, let's start with him. I'm Kiyotaka Ishimaru. I believe in bold simplicity. Let's work together on our educational crusade. <laughs> he is Ida. Moral compass. Oh! So that's Kiyotaka. According to what I saw about him on the thread, he went to a famous private school, won top honors every year. He's basically a flawless honor student. He's also known for the work he's done with his community's public morals committee. They say he respects rules above all else, earning him the title of Ultimate Moral Compass. Anyway, you can call me Taka. You said your name was Makoto Negi, right? <laughs> That's a good name, a strong name. You should thank your parents for giving you such an excellent name. <laughs> Thanks. You hear me? And to keep that name from losing its value, you must devote yourself every single day. Life is worth putting every ounce of effort into it, right? Right? This guy is kind of annoying. A little. <gasps> Hi, cutie. Let's talk to you. Not that you'll remember my name anyway, but I'm Toko. Toko Fukawa. Toko Fukawa. I'm gonna remember your name forever, you cutie. Toko Fukawa, ultimate writing prodigy. Oh. So are you the fan fiction person? Or is that a different person? Yeah, she wrote a novel when she was 10 that got, oh no, not fan fiction, okay. Launched her literary career. Then two years later, she released So Lingers the Ocean, a love story said to be her masterpiece. Ooh, so she likes love stories. Ooh, woo. The book was such a hit with women that fishermen quickly shot to the top of every hottest men pole. <laughs> That's funny. Despite her age, she won countless literary prizes and all her books are instant bestsellers. Which is why she's come to be known as the ultimate writing protege. What else would you call such a young, talented author? But I figured she'd be a lovey-dovey type with that. Her masterpiece being a romance and all. <laughs> What's your problem? Oh. Stop staring at me like I'm some filthy creature! Filthy creature? No, oh, I just thought... I know what you just thought. You just thought you'd never seen such an ugly woman. You just thought it was so funny. Oh, she's crazy. She's absolutely batshit crazy. Okay, good to know. No, that's not what I was thinking at all. I'm telling you. Don't bother trying to lie to me! I know it's true, otherwise you... I know you can't stand looking at me! Anyway... Whatever. I don't really care. I'm used to it. Wow! Talk about an inferiority complex. I was way off about what a successful author would be like. Huh. And her? Hi, I'm Sayaka Maizona. I look forward to getting to know you. Ah, she's cute. Are you normal? <gasps> she's the pop star! Ooh! Pop star! The way she moves is positively mesmerizing, and that pleasant scent, I can't quite place it. Saika Muzano. When I saw her name in that thread online, I frankly, I was pretty surprised. Oh, she's the pop star, right? Yeah, she's in the pop group, famous all across the country, lead singer, ultimate pop sensation. She's in high demand to appear on TV and magazines. But actually, that's not the reason I was so surprised to find that she'd be going to the school. I'm sure she doesn't remember, but, well... Never mind. No matter how you slice it, she's almost like a doll. Weird! What is he? <laughs> I'm not a doll, you know. I'm alive! Huh? How did she hear me? I... I'm psychic. Huh? 
kidding. I just have a really good intuition. She's a sharp one. Hey, um... Hey, uh, by chance... Now what? Huh? Yeah, it must be. I'm sure of it. Hey, Makoto, did you... Just hold on. Jeez, you guys. How long do you plan on wasting our valuable time with this ridiculous back and forth? Uh, um, oh, sorry. I just got carried away, I guess. You hear me? So, introductions are for introducing yourself, not bambling... Bab... Bambling? Bumbling? Bumbling through a bunch of idle chit-chat. Um, you're right. Sorry. Sorry, Makoto. We can talk about this later. Huh. Sounded like she really had something she wanted to say. Huh. But it's not like we'll never see each other again, like she said. We can talk later. Weird. Huh. What's the door? Holy cow, what's this huge metal hatch? It's like the kind of thing you'd see in a secret military base or something. This is the same main hallway I was in before, right? The store definitely wasn't here, though. Are there other students around here? Trophies. TV. Are those guns? Whoa, I did not look around. I guess I should have looked at my surroundings first before I started talking to people. Mailbox. Nothing inside. Interesting. Yo, the name's Leon Kuwata. What's Ooh, up? Ooh, I like him. Leon Kuwata. Oh, he's the baseball person. Oh, his hair's longer. I recognize that name. Yeah, it was shorter there. Play the National Baseball Staru. That superb athletic specimen is. You? Seriously? Huh? huh? What's wrong? Nothing. I'm just surprised. I figured you being the ultimate baseball star Take and all. Break. What? Were you expecting some kid with a shaved head? Shaved head? Yeah. No, I was just expecting more of a, you know, sporty looking traditional baseball type. I mean, when I found out that article and picture of you online, that's how you looked then. <laughs> uh, what? Aw, oh, man. You found that picture of me playing baseball? Seriously, I hate that picture. This is not cool. This is so not cool. Seriously, I'm like mega embarrassed right now. I didn't have a choice, okay? Shaving your head like that's part of the national championship regulations. Seriously? <laughs> but now I refuse to cut it. I'm not even gonna dye it back to normal either. Hey, listen. Actually, can I be totally honest you with know. you? I don't like baseball. Like at all. I've never gone to a single practice. Oh, weird. Also, does he have like a big safety pin in his outfit? That's weird. He's never practiced and he's still his whole team star player? Got a protege? Yeah. And as soon as I get accepted here, I quit baseball for good. I have my own dream for the future. A dream for the future? <laughs> My own path in life is getting into music. You can feel that star quality aura I have, right? You know what I mean. I'm gonna be a singer. So all I need to do is a songwriter and someone on guitar, and we're set. Weird. How cool is that? The new version of that, me chasing after my dream. It's like, super cool to the max. Weird. So if he doesn't do what he's supposed to, would he get kicked out of the school? I can't believe what I'm hearing. I never imagined I'd hear something like that from a baseball all-star. Okay, one more student here. I am Hifumi Yamada. Hi, but if you want to call me by my nickname, the Alpha and the Omega. I don't mind. The Alpha and the Omega. We'll call you Humphy or Yamada. Hmm. By the way, how much do you know about the world of 2D art? World of 2D art? <laughs> well, in that world, I am well known and superiorly regarded as the ultimate fan fiction creator. I will rival you for that. <laughs> I once sold 10,000 copies of one of my fan comics at a school festival. The event has passed into legend. <laughs> Some of them didn't get it, of course, saying I tainted the event. How stupid can they be? That's too bad about them. But selling 10,000 copies like that is definitely pretty remarkable. However, 
However, the world of such idiots mean nothing to me. I am like Van Gogh, utterly unappreciated in my time. Okay. I am a soldier, serving night and day to destroy all mindless preconceptions about fan fiction. I'm sure if you were to observe my work, Mr. Nagaji, you would comprehend its greatness immediately. Mm -hmm. For my work is filled with the deepest meaning. That's what they're calling it, huh? What kind of meaning? Yes, indeed. It's about embracing our basis urges. Oh no, it is what he means. I don't think I want to comprehend it. <laughs> oh no. Okay. We're gonna stop right here for today. Um, I think that's a good spot. Um, I'm gonna try to make sure these are around like 25, 30 minutes in length each. So that way they're pretty easy to watch. But next time we'll talk to the other students and find out their stories and what they are. So, so far we've got the ultimate moral compass, the ultimate lucky student, which is our character, the ultimate pop star, the ultimate fan fiction, uh, I'm forgetting the others now. I don't remember who else is in the batch already. Oh no. <laughs> I don't remember. Whatever. It's fine. Oh, baseball. <laughs> I forgot about baseball guy. But yeah, I'm excited to learn about these other students. So there's like two more sets of them, right? Technically, there'd be like four more after this. So I'm excited to learn more. Um, this is a very interesting game. Not what I was expecting, but I'm liking it. So I hope you guys are enjoying this as well. And I will see you all later. Bye!